everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be about Evan Moore's history pockets. I don't know about you, but history was my least favorite subject when I was a kid in school. And it was mainly because it did not interest me. We were taught with textbooks and dry facts and it was boring. There was absolutely nothing that grabbed my attention or got me involved in a way that made it interesting to me. So I found it boring and I also found myself needing to find a way to add the excitement to history to be able to teach it in my homeschool. And I found that these history pockets were a great way to do that because they bring history to life. The Evan Moore History Pockets help history come alive for students and children with engaging, hands-on, interactive projects. Each book comes with interesting and accurate historical information along with helpful illustrations, maps, charts, and timelines. There is a sure fit for any topic that you may be studying in your homeschool. For grades 1 through 3, they have Ancient Civilizations, Life in Plymouth Colony, and Native Americans. For grades four through six, they have the American Civil War, the American Revolution, Ancient Rome, Ancient Egypt, Ancient Greece, Colonial America, Explorers of North America, and Moving West. One of the things I personally loved about the History Pockets is that it required so few materials. We really only used glue, color pencils, and construction paper. To make the pockets, you use a 12 by 18 sheet of construction paper and you fold the bottom six inches up and staple it along the right side. You then bind it on the left with whatever binding tool that you choose. You can see here that I personally chose to bind mine with the ProClick spiral binding. And I did that because I like that this ProClick opens back up so that I could potentially just have one giant history book that we've completed for the entire year. Here is our finished American Revolution history pocket. Each one comes with a cover page and then a placard type thing for each pocket. So here you can see that for the introduction to the American Revolution, we have a fast facts, which there is one of these for each of the seven pockets in each book. We also have a timeline here of the American Revolution. We have a little mini book that is choosing sides. So there's the different sides and what they were called. Then we have a map of the 13 colonies that she labeled. An example of another pocket we have is the causes of the war. Again, like I mentioned, the fast facts for each of the seven pockets. Then we have these cool things like this is a pop-up book about the Boston Massacre. This is a small mini book about the join or die and what she thought that meant. And then this awesome little ship or boat in the waves that talks about the Boston Tea Party. If you are looking for some fun, hands-on, interactive ways to teach history to your child or your student, I highly recommend Evan Moore's History Pockets to do just that. 